Welcome to the Pine Hosting settings page. This page will change quite a lot depending on the type of game you're running. In my case, I've got a Rust server here, but it could have new things or different things if you've got a Minecraft server or an Unturned server, etc. At the top left here, we have SFTP details. So this is your server FTP details. If you want to connect to this, you can use these details to connect. You can use your favorite program like FileZilla or WinSCP to upload files. We have a whole video on this separately that'll be linked below. At the top right here, we have server details. This is where you can set your server name and description. This is only for the panel. This won't actually change the public server name. So this is your internal naming of the server. If you wanted to change this to Rust server number one, Rust server number two, etc., you can, or you can just leave it as it is. The server description doesn't show anywhere else except here, but this is a nice way for you to leave some notes about your server if you wanted to remember what the server is compared to other ones. Then we have debug information. This shows you the node you're on. This is the machine, Texas 03. Your server ID, which you can send to us if you ever need to get things fixed. And then if your server is on a cosmic protected machine, you have protection rules. You can click to view this and I'll show you all the rules that are applied to your server. These rules obviously change depending on the type of game you're running. Then we have reinstalling your server. If you mess up and you want to start fresh, this is the place to go. Head here, click reinstall. You can either do a fresh reinstall without deleting all files. This will leave some residual files potentially. Or you can delete all files. This will delete everything and give you a brand new reinstall to start from the beginning. Some servers might have A2S caching, which you can toggle on and off over here. And then finally, you have subdomains. You can use this to select a list of all of the subdomains that we offer. And you can create your own subdomain by just typing it in here and clicking create. That covers everything for the settings page. Obviously, like I said, this changes quite a bit per game. So you might see a few things that aren't on this video. If you ever get stuck, feel free to just open a ticket with our support team.